this book today is Wednesday July 3rd so it took me about two days to finish this book this is grip by Kennedy Ryan and I ended up rating this three and a half stars which is crazy because I just expect all five stars for all of Kennedy Ryan books that I read but that's not fair because every single book of hers won't actually give me that five star feel but that but that does not take away from her impeccable immaculate writing and her writing style and her story the storyline was beautiful her writing is beautiful i loved it so much however this book just ain't quite give me five stars feeling like it was pretty annoying at times because of the female main character bristol i just felt as though like you think you hold grudges like no bristol holds grudges and i understand she went through certain things as to why she felt as though she, for eight long years she needed to stand her ground and prove a point but she almost lost it all she almost lost everything that she wanted in grip she almost lost him completely because she just wanted to take her insecurities and just drag it out and hold a grudge for so long so majority of the book i was just so irritated with her throughout the entire book i was pretty irritated with her she has some moments where i was like okay girl good like i'm starting to like you you're not being as insufferable at the moment but majority like her personality to me i just did not click with i just didn't mesh with and it's not even because she's a white woman and i'm a black woman that was a big thing in this book with grit being a black man being an artist and dating and being in love with a white woman it's not even that for me it's just her personality as a whole like she comes off as this like really hardcore very this very ambitious independent woman as far as in like her career wise but personally she's like a train wreck personally she is not as strong as she thinks like she makes decisions based off her emotions sometimes and as women we tend to do that but she makes decisions that just don't make sense when i thought that she was going to give this certain person the business and be like no i'm not doing that she is actually very much considering it and it's not until certain people stops her from making really just irrational type of decisions i don't know her decision making was getting on my, my nerves she was just really annoying and that is why the book ended up being three and a half stars for me it was at a three star then it became a four star but it she it went right back down to a three star and then ended up going to a three and a half star and that's really because of the female main character she just got on my nerves so bad y'all but i do recommend this book if you do decide to read grip by kennedy ryan make sure you read the novella leading up to the grip which is called flow i think it's less than 100 pages and then you'll get into grip and i think there's a third book of grip i'm not sure i have to check out and if it is i'll read it just not no time soon <laughs> but anyways welcome to the vlog y'all how are y'all hope you all are doing okay um it is almost four o'clock um at about 4 30 i'll be leaving with samia to go get ava tomorrow is fourth of july so nobody got school and nobody has to go to work besides i think my man i think he's going to work but i'm excited y'all I've been in my pajamas all day, so hence why like I'm looking real tired. But I'm gonna get myself together. Today's my sister's birthday, so by seven o'clock today, when Berto's home, I am going to go to my other sister's house so we can kick it with my sister for her birthday. Um, and yeah, so I'm out to go upstairs for a little bit, like kind of like get my life together to get ready to leave the house. Um, and I'll check in with y'all soon. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? No, you don't. You wanna know what? You wanna know what you hear? Silence. My house is quiet because my kids is asleep. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Y'all, today is Saturday. It's July, I think, 6th. And this is the first vlog where y'all not gonna get it on Wednesday. Oh my god. This is probably hurting me more than it's hurting y'all. I just kind of want to see how this goes, y'all. I have a lot going on. And I need it to slow down for just a second, y'all. A lot of changes. Y'all are going to be like gagging. But y'all probably won't know for a while. 
but this will all make sense later um i am reading this book right here i'm reading powerless and that's why i really came and got the camera so we can talk about it i am not sure how i feel it's not a bad book at all oh y'all i'm trying to like get y'all right okay the book isn't bad. The book is actually good. I'm 30% in. I'm on page 154 and I'm enjoying it. This book is highly, highly reminding me though of Hunger Games and Divergent. There are specific scenes and I'm going to tell those scenes to y'all to where y'all can kind of get where I'm going. There was one scene where, wait, first of all, before I even get into those scenes, let me tell y'all what this is about. So this is about Peyton Gray and it's about where the kingdom, well, hold on, let me read it so I don't mess it up. So it says, the elites have possessed powers for decades gifted to them by the plague, while those born ordinary are just that, banished from the kingdom of Alea and shunned from society. No one knows it's better than Peyton Gray, an ordinary posing as a psychic to blend in with the elites. But when she unwittingly saves one of Alea's princesses, Kai Azar, she's thrown into the purging trials, a brutal competition showcasing the elites' powers. If the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's fighting feelings for will if he discovers what Peyton is, a complete ordinary. So I am really, really liking Peyton. Y'all, I'm loving her character. So pretty much if you are if you don't possess some type of power that will pretty much be a service to the kingdom of Alea, you are done. And let them find out they're going to they're going to ask you out, right? And Peyton's father died when she was really young. And he pretty much knew since she was young that she was ordinary. So he trained her to pretend that she's a psychic. And nobody lies better than Peyton. <laughs> Peyton has mastered the, the, the art of lying and pretending that she's this psychic. And she got everyone believing that. But there was a situation when Kai had to go down to where she lives, which is the slums, because he had to go ask somebody because it got the king got wind that an ordin somebody is is um harboring an ordinary. So he sent Kai to go handle that, right? But while he was there, he got into some trouble. Um but you know, trouble came to him and Peyton saved his life. This is pretty much what the back of the book was about. Peyton saves his life and she has to prove to him, prove to him that he's that she's a psychic. But not only did she save his life, like everybody saw her save his life. So she got picked to go into these trials. These trials will remind you of the Hunger Games. Now, I didn't get into the trials yet. Like the fighting and stuff didn't happen, but the leading up to the trials is definitely very similar to the Hunger Games. And I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like it's not completely identical, but you could tell she was very inspired by the Hunger Games. And I mean, I love the Hunger Games, so I'm not mad at it. But she also took some things. I don't. I never heard nobody say Divergent yet, but she did take some things from Divergent as well because y'all know I love Divergent. And there was this one specific scene in Divergent where Tris and what is his name thor and they are doing competition whatever showing what you about and they was like thor you need to throw these knives at this guy but don't hit him pretty like don't kill him but if he flinched he done and tris was like tris stepped up like that ain't fair like anybody can throw knives i mean any you know like pretty much like don't throw knives at him like that's not right so pretty much like she had to cheat they was like well then you do it if you ain't scared and if you flinch then you're done so it's a scene where thor is throwing knives at tris and he nips her ear because he has to in order for it to stop and she's all mad like you hit me he was like i know i did that on purpose and there is one scene and powerless that is just like that but instead of it being kai that's throwing knives at um payton is this girl that loki wants kai and his brother um kit and it's this whole thing so i could tell she was very inspired by that scene as well and she's taking little bits and pieces from these other movies and books and like making it her own thing obviously and divergent there was no powers i don't even think there was powers in hunger games however i don't know kind of how i feel about it yet like i need to keep reading i need to kind of see how this book goes i need to see if she continues to <coughs> get inspired by other things 
it's not bad I just really right now I don't have no rating I'm only 30% in and I don't quite know how I feel just yet but I'm sure I will figure that out but anyways y'all I just did some deep cleaning upstairs I am I just filmed for Sunday's video um, I'm about to edit that as you all can see I'm gonna edit that I'm about to cook lunch though before I even do that while the kids are asleep I'm about to cook me some salmon and rice and figure out what these kids gonna eat I did thaw out some chicken so I think I'm gonna make them some chicken for lunch um so the editing will probably be the last thing I do because it's not that long it's only about 60 minutes or so so it shouldn't take me that long to edit but anyways I just want to check in with y'all this is gonna be the longest vlog as of yet so hopefully y'all enjoy it and if not I will accept feedback so anyways I'm about to go ahead and do what I need to do before Samia definitely gonna wake up first and I'm sure she's gonna be waking up any minute so let me go ahead and get to cooking and I'll check in with y'all later. Wait, and before I forget, this better not be no love triangle type thing. Like we already know the main characters from the synopsis of the book is going to be between Kai and Peyton. And that's who we are rooting for. And though as of right now, we are liking Kit, right? Kit is Kai's brother and he is next to be the future king. Though we like Kit right now because the way that they're describing his personality, he seems like he's going to be the opposite of his father. I can tell that he's trying to, he got a little bit of feels for our girl Peyton. After Kit, I mean Kai low-key, Kai high-key already called dibs, right? That's who we rooting for. This better not be like no love triangle type situation. Okay, like kind of with Akatar, with Feyre and Tamlin. And we liked Tamlin at first, and then we realized we don't like Tamlin. And then we ended up liking, what's his name? Um, Ryson. This better not be what that is. Like, let's just root for Kai. Let's just root for Peyton. Let's not have like no love triangle type of thing. Like, I don't have the capacity for that. So, I forgot to throw that in there. <laughs> I'm about to go cook now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so happy. It's like 5.15 right now. And I am on page 160 of Powerless. I'm 32% into the book. My husband came home and he said, do you want to go upstairs? Do you want to go downstairs? Do you want some time to yourself? I said, yes, honey, I do. Thank you. So they're downstairs. I already cooked lunch slash dinner. I had salmon and rice. The kids had chicken wings and fries. That's what they want. That's what they're going to eat. Um, hubby already had his ground turkey and rice. Everybody in my house eats dang near different things. Um, I filmed y'all. I edited. I got towels in the wash. I got shower curtains in the dryer. Um, I cleaned. I vacuumed. I still got to clean the bathrooms, which I will do tomorrow. Um, I still need to just fold these whites that sit on my bed, but it's only a little bit of that. Um, I already cleaned up the girls' room. I already cooked. I edited. I filmed. Like, mm, I'm so happy. I'm so at peace. So I'm going to continue to read, and then I'm probably going to take a little nap. So I just want to check in with y'all. If I pick this camera back up, it's going to be pertaining to the book. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with y'all soon. Sorry about the background noise. It's just my um, AC because it's hot, y'all. And I only got this little jacket on is because it looks like it's going to pour. And I am on my way to Walgreens because my baby's daycare, they are having, they said to bring a family picture for um, the like family wall. And I have yet to get like new updated family, our family pictures that we took printed out yet. I wanted to get them in big canvases, which I still plan to do. 
they're just kind of expensive so i'm taking my time with that but i needed to get like the four by six so i ordered them from walgreens they're only a couple dollars and i'm going to pick those up so i can make sure i have those ready for my baby class tomorrow because one thing about it my children i'm gonna make sure they participate in all activities like they're not going to be left out of nothing okay so i'm on my way to walgreens to grab that and then um I'm probably going to do some cardio later. I do need to get something to eat, but I'm probably going to do like some cardio later and um, yeah, all of that good stuff. So that's the update. I came on here though to talk to y'all about powerless so far. I'm about 54% into the book and right now I'm sitting at like a, I'm sitting at like a force star i'm not this is the thing the book is good as you all know like there's a lot of like um correlation between like hunger games and diversion which i'm not mad at but the height that this book was getting like i was expecting like a guitar type of like fourth wing type of vibes and i'm just not quite getting those five six star feels right now right now i am i'm sitting at about a four star um i'm sitting about at a four star right now and I, again i'm a little bit over halfway so i anticipate it hopefully just getting better and better um but that's where i'm at right now the book is good like i'm into it i'm just not like to where i can't like put stop the book like i find myself like again like doing other things grabbing my phone while reading the book and it's just a little bit disappointing for me because i'm just like oh i wanted to be obsessed and i'm not obsessed at this excuse me at this moment so i'm gonna try to read a little bit more tonight probably will finish it by tomorrow i might try to finish it tonight but me and my husband we're gonna be watching house of the dragons at nine tonight so <laughs> you know it's already 5 30 now so um yeah so that's the update with powerless um i'm not quite sure what book i'm going to read after this it really will just depend on my mood but y'all today is already july 7th and i've only read one book for the month of july so i'm just like oh i hope july is not gonna be like how june was but even if it is that's all right so anyways i'm about to focus on this road i'm five minutes away from walgreens and then i'm gonna check in with y'all later oh i do i did mean to tell y'all that plan on going to best buy tomorrow to get an external hard drive i usually edit off of imovie but we and we use our macbook desktop but it takes up so much storage on our macbook desktop and it's just starting to give me so many issues so i'm going to one get rid of imovie probably at this point get an external hard drive because that's necessary Three, I'm going to try to see how it feels to edit on my iPad, especially so I can be able to edit like while I'm at work or while I'm doing other things. Um, so I can like edit throughout the week. So I'm gonna switch a few things up, especially now that I'm down to starting to rain. Especially now that I'm going down to one video a week. And I'm gonna like try to play with like some editing. And I don't know, hopefully by in this vlog, I will be able to see some key differences. I hope. But anyways, y'all, let me focus on this road. It's starting to rain and my camera isn't mounted or anything. So <laughs> I'm going to check in with y'all later. All right, friends. So I got what I needed. I ended up getting this usb hard drive um i have been needing that so badly because i edit on my macbook desktop and that macbook desktop holds like no storage like and because i film in 4k i have so many problems with that <laughs> especially when it's time to like export it's i just been having a lot of problems and i've been holding off on buying this because it is expensive but is necessary so we went ahead and got it so hopefully this will help especially because i'm trying to give y'all longer vlogs and i don't want to run into any issues so i'm trying to be proactive it's monday it's after 6 30 i already picked up ava dropped her home so i could run out and grab this now i'm about to go to the grocery store 
to grab some things to make a smoothie with my girls because Mia has been begging for smoothies y'all and I'm like you know what we're going to make this at home and we have like this blender that my job gifted me and I still have a ninja and she's just really excited so I'm gonna run to Kroger and grab the things to make the smoothie and then we're gonna make that when we get home um so my girl can be excited both of my girls so we're going to talk about powerless later my camera's about to die i'm still reading powerless but we're going to talk about that soon once i get home charge the battery and all that so i'll check in with y'all soon someone must have broken my heart like really torn it apart in another life in another life so Yes, that is what I have. So, it is a 5.35 um, on Wednesday, and I'm in the car by myself again because I, um, hold on, I am having to go back to Best Buy because as you all saw, I went to Best Buy to get a um, external hard drive. Well, my little brain forgot to think like I might need like a hub, like a USB hub because the extension cord to the external hard drive, though it fits my MacBook desktop, it does not fit my iPad. And y'all know I want to try to like edit on my iPad. So I'm going to... um. Best by now to try to get like a USB hub. I did bring my iPad with me in case like they need it for like reference. Um, so I did bring that. So that is what we're going to do. And I'm gonna talk to y'all about Powerless once we get back because I finished the book six days later. I finally finished and I want to talk to y'all about it. And then I'm gonna let y'all know what book we're reading next. So I'm about to blast my music, jam out, and I'm gonna talk to y'all soon. Oh, Thursday. It is 12.52 and I just brought the computer upstairs so I can start editing this vlog. I am using a new, um, I'm out of breath, sorry. I am using a new um, editing application. I am trying some new things when it comes to editing. So now I'm trying to get a head start on editing so I can really like do my best and not feel rushed. However, before I get into, we got one book to open and we get into powerless. Let's give let me give you an update about Best Buy. So yesterday I went to Best Buy for my iPad right here. And I bought an external hard drive. It's hooked up to my computer because when I'm on the go, when I'm in the office, I want to be able to like start editing like 
while I'm on the go and not have to be like strapped to my desk. So I have my iPad here and I bought the external hard drive with the intention of being able to edit on my iPad. Well, I realized that the adapter to the external hard drive isn't compatible with the iPad, obviously. So I went to Best Buy to try to buy me like a um, USB hub, like a port, to where that port can hook up to my iPad and the external hard drive can hook up to the hub. However, because my iPad is a little bit older, they don't have anything compatible with this. Which is fine, we still need the external hard drive anyway because... Y'all know I be having issues with this computer because there is absolutely no storage. And because I shoot in 4K, it just takes up a lot of storage. So my husband went back to see if he can get the right thing because I came home, I tried it out, it didn't work. And pretty much they just said like, there's nothing for that, for this one at least. So I am still having to edit on my computer until I can buy me a MacBook Pro. And those are a little bit expensive, so that's going to have to wait. And I'm going to make do what I got, right? So that's the update with Best Buy. The second update is, before I even get into Power List, I do have a book that I ordered from Amazon. Actually, I ordered it a, mm, a couple weeks ago. I just was waiting for this vlog to actually like unbox it with you all. And I'm really, really excited for this one. I did buy me another fantasy book because y'all know I said I am trying to read way more fantasies because I love fantasies. So I decided to go with the Serpent, the Wings Knight. I think that's what it's called. Let me take the the plastic off so y'all can I can read it properly. Hold on. Oh gosh. Okay, so this one is called the Serpent, the Serpent, the Wings of Night. I stumbled upon this on Goodreads. I don't quite know. I don't think I've followed anybody that read this, but I think like I was scrolling through TikTok or something and somebody was giving like their best fantasy recommendations and this was on the top of the list. So this one is about, let me see. All right. So this one says, for humans or vampires, the rules of survival are the same. Never trust, never yield, and always, always guard your heart. The adopted human daughter of the nightborn Vampire King, Aurelia, carves her place in a world designed to kill her. Her only chance to become something more than prey is entering the Kajari, a legendary tournament held by the goddess of death herself. But winning won't be easy against the most vicious warriors from all three vampire houses. To survive, Aurelia is forced to make an alliance with a mysterious rival. Everything about Rain is dangerous. He is a ruthless vampire, an efficient killer, an enemy to her father's crown and her greatest competition. Yet what terrifies Aurea most of all is that she finds herself oddly drawn to him. But there's no room for compassion in the Kajari. War for the nightborn crown bruise, shattering everything that Aurea thought she knew about her home. And Ray may understand her more than anyone, but their blossoming attraction could be her downfall in a kingdom where nothing is more deadly than love. The Serpent in the Wings of Night is a tale of heart-wrenching romance, dark magic, and bloodthirsty intrigue. So I'm really, really excited to read this. Y'all know I love fantasy, so that was the one book from my Amazon book haul. And next, we are going to talk about this book right here, Powerless. So let me switch y'all up for a second and we are gonna get into it. Okay, so don't mind the clothes on the bed. I am in the middle of doing laundry. I, when I'm working from home, y'all, you would think that it's peaceful, but it's not because I'm constantly doing everything. Alongside working, I'm doing laundry. I got Samia home, I'm cooking, I'm making, I'm, I'm doing the most. So don't mind that. Let's talk about this book right here. I am going to go ahead and read my review on Goodreads because I did just leave like a detailed review on this book and I just don't want to make sure, I just want to make sure I don't like leave out anything. So I'm about to pull up my Goodreads so y'all can know what I said and then we can elaborate a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, where do I start? Overall, I gave it a four star. The last 150 or so pages really turned it up a notch for me. In the beginning, there are quite a few similarities with some scenes that is similar to Hunger Games and Divergent. I'm not mad at that because I love those movies, 
but the further I read along, the more this, the more unique this story, this story came. This story became. I stopped comparing it to those book, those books um, slash movies. Like the further along I read. You can tell she was definitely inspired by those books, so she made it her own and added her own twist. And I definitely appreciated that about Lauren Roberts, because I know, well, first of all, when she was writing this book via TikTok, she was saying it's like when Hunger Games and like another book like had a baby. So she was very, she made it very known from the get go that she was inspired by Hunger Games pretty much. So I don't fault her for um, utilizing certain scenes and making it her own from those movies because she prefaced that while she was reading the book. The only thing is, is that this book really did take me six days to finish y'all. I was shocked. This book took me, I mean, today is July 11th and I'm just now reading my second book. So yeah, I kept picking up my phone and getting distracted and I realized because this book didn't give me that five star feeling that other fantasy books gave me. I do feel the next book does have potential to be five stars, especially because how the book ended, child. If you read this book, you know, you know. But it wasn't my favorite. I liked it, but I just wasn't in love with it. And also be aware the slow burn in this book is a very, very slow burn. And I also put like, hopefully the second book will actually get an actual kiss because there was a lot of tension building up to like where they were about to kiss but they didn't and it's like okay i know you wanted this to be like ya i believe i know you wanted this to be like a slow burn but some type of slow burns are two slow burns and because of that it was really hard for me this is like my thoughts now this is really hard it was really hard for me to like really really connect the characters like yes i did like Peyton. i liked adina i liked kit i liked um kai is that wasn't that his name um yeah, I liked Kai. Um, yeah, I liked Lenny. Like, I liked them. But for some reason, I just didn't really feel as connected to them. Like, for example, with Akatar, I was so connected with Feyre. And I was so connected with um, Ryzen, Reason. Like, you know, I didn't really get that, like, I'm obsessed with them type of vibe. So that's why I couldn't get this book five stars. But I did say... Um, there were some plot twists in this book that had me gasping. Some plot twists in this book that I was not freaking expecting. And the way that Lauren Roberts ended this book, like, yes, I'm excited to read Reckless. I think it just came out because I got to know what happens next. Like, I need to know. I'm going to probably go to Barnes in this vlog so I can go and grab Reckless, to be quite honest with y'all. But I also did in the uh, review saying, was this book overhyped? To me, it was. But is it worth the read? Yes. So that was pretty much all my thoughts of this book. It is a pretty thick girl. It's over 500 pages, I believe. But I enjoyed the writing. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed um, the character development. What I, I just didn't quite enjoy, like how much of a slow burn it was. Like I wish we could have actually got a, a kiss um or something like make me like make me really want to root for them and i also didn't quite like that they were trying to make this like a love triangle like kit knew that kai had his eyes on payton before kit even knew about payton and the fact that it seems like kit throughout the story was trying to like make his way into Peyton's heart even though he already knew what his brother felt for her I just didn't like that about Kit I felt like that was very like shady of Kit and the fact that Kai he was definitely bothered by it but he didn't call his brother out on it and I don't know if it's because his brother is like the next in line to be the king that just really rubbed me the wrong way so yeah here goes Samia y'all watch I'm like mommy stop ready huh huh I'm gonna look at chicken wings it's ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Well, as you all heard, I need to go get her chicken wings out the air fryer. So <laughs> I'll check in with y'all soon. I'm about to get to editing. Hey, girl. Hey. So it is 6.24 p.m. It is a Saturday. 
and I am at Barnes because y'all know I just finished reading Powerless actually in this video and Reckless just came out so I came on here to get Reckless and that is the only thing that I did come to get was Reckless however if another book catch my eye I might just have to go grab that and also I believe I might have ten dollars off worth of rewards with Barnes so I might put that to use so we'll see what happens. But before we go in really quickly, I also wanted to talk to y'all about this book right here. So I did end up finishing it. Um, the Silent Patient by Alex. I cannot remember how to say his last name because um, I ended up listening to the audio version of this. I tandem read it with my Kindle as well. But this was good. I ended up rating this four freaking stars. And I really do feel as though that the audiobook saved me it really really did because the reason what made me come to the conclusion to even read this with an audiobook is because a lot of people was like this book is really slow and because it's already july 12th 13th this was only the second book that i have read for the month of july and i felt this though if i would have just straight read this up in the physical copy or on my kindle that it would have took me a little bit longer because I'm already busy, so I'm really trying to maximize as much reading as I can because I drive a lot. I'm just always on the go. So I realized me getting the audiobook for this would be the best thing for me. And I'm so glad that I did. Y'all know I don't really listen to audiobooks that much. I think I only read one or two books on audio Audible. All the other books I usually read physically or on my Kindle. And I absolutely love the Nah Writers voices on for this book it, they had such a cutest accent they really really brought this book to life they really utilized the emotions that the that the characters were feeling in this book and they really just they just did it for me and i feel as though that book really saved it for me and if i did not listen to the audio version would i have rated it a four star i'm not quite sure um also what i was going to say i did end up guessing one of the plot twists i guessed it i was about 43 percent, and i made a guess about if you read the book you know you know i guess that right but they got me um followed up with like the secondary plot test like they got me with that and i was shook i was pretty shook so um i wanted to talk to y'all about this this book is really really good i can't really say well this was like a psychological type of thriller and i don't know if you ever read this but this is pretty much about a woman who has shot her husband in the face six times and after she shot him in the face she went mute like she went silent for freaking years and nobody could get her to talk so this psych this psychotherapist theo decided that he wanted to take on her case and examine her and try to get her to talk so this whole book was about him getting her to talk about what really happened and the plot twist is crazy this book is really really good and i highly do recommend it so in the the woman's name was alicia so i remember when i did the um july tbr and i was reading this and i was like i think it's alicia but it might be alicia but the narrators pronounced it as alicia which is such a beautiful name so anyways let's go ahead and go into this bookstore um because this vlog has to go out tomorrow so let's go into this bookstore let's grab reckless and then we'll just see if anything else catches my eye um yeah so let's go and let's do it so i can get back home to my familiar <laughs> all right so i decided to get the novella powerful by Lauren roberts along with it reckless by Mar roberts not sure what else i'm wanting i'm really keep leaning towards fantasy section but why am i getting a romance i'm not quite sure but i definitely know for sure i'm leaving with these two So we secured the two books. I didn't even grab a bag. I was too busy like talking to the sales rep. But I ended up getting powerful and I ended up getting reckless because when I am the type of person that I have to read the novellas as well, like with the Shatter Me series, if you ever read that, I read every single one of the novellas and I really, really want to buy the novellas to have them on my bookshelf. I just keep forgetting to make it a priority. 
So I ended up getting powerful, y'all. Look at the size difference, though. It's so little. It is so cute. It looks like this one had $3 off. I'm going to go ahead and try to, like, take this off. But, y'all, my toxic trait <laughs> is going in Barnes & Noble, looking at the prices, and then going, literally, while I'm in there, going on Amazon and seeing how much more money I could save. <laughs> like, for example, this in Barnes & Noble, powerful was, power, yeah, powerful was, $14.99 on Amazon is um like eight dollars or something and reckless was like fifteen dollars on Amazon but when on um Barnes and Noble is 21 but it also had three dollars off so it kind of like made that difference like it was on like a two dollar difference when you really think about it and the covers for I think Barnes and Noble are just a little bit cuter than on Amazon let me just double check let me double check. Um, yeah, like on Amazon, this is like red. Yeah, it's red. The um, flowers are red. On um, and Barnes and Noble is blue, and this is actually white on Amazon, and Barnes and Nobles is black. So I do like the covers in Barnes better. I guess that's what it means by like Barnes and Noble like exclusive edition. But I ended up paying twenty five dollars total for both of those because I had ten dollars off. So I went ahead and utilized those, which I was really like, should I save my? Should I keep like letting my rewards add? But I don't know the next time I'm going to buy like a bulk of books at Barnes and Noble to like accumulate more so i was like no i'm gonna go ahead and save my coin now i'm gonna go ahead and use it so those are the two books i am very excited to read them i do not plan on reading them for the month of july i just plan on reading them maybe next month because my july tbr is already like pretty set in stone and i really have some books on my july tbr that i was supposed to read back in june so i'm trying to make sure that i get to those books i already got the silent patient out the way i have to get to razor blade tears like i need to get to that book and i need to get to um can't remember there was one other book that i brought over into july that i just can't quite remember and I have a lot of books on my bookshelf, y'all. Actually, my last Barnes & Noble book haul, I still have those books in a bag because I need to buy another bookshelf. Y'all know that bookshelf that I have under my TV is um like that smaller bookshelf. The only reason why I'm not utilizing the size of those is because I'm very much still indecisive on what decorations I want to put in those spots. And honestly, I'm not like in a rush to do it. But books don't go right there my husband keeps saying put the books on the side you got all that room i'm like no they don't they don't belong there they are supposed to like that's where like my vase is supposed to go with my plants and all of that i just really need to buckle down and figure out what i want to buy to finish decorating that i was supposed to do that months ago and i just have not done that so i might put it there for now temporarily though because i don't like my books just sitting in the bag and my top bookshelf just has absolutely no space left so i might do that um I'm trying to think what else i feel like i'm missing something i feel like i'm very much supposed to tell y'all something else and i just can't quite remember anyways i believe for this vlog we ended up reading oh it is my mother's book so i ended up reading one more book for this month of july and that was a book written by my mom it's called my testimony my salvation and my truth i might have that title mixed up but i will put it right here y'all it's like in a book world we call it a novella it's just a short little novella it's 45 pages y'all it is on kindle unlimited so it's free if you have Kindle Unlimited, so I would just encourage you to buy it, especially for those who um, are Christians, who are rooted in faith, who desire to have a relationship with Jesus, who does have a relationship with Jesus and just wants to know more about spiritual encounters on how God can really just meet you at where you're at in your season in life. It talks about things that sometimes might happen in the church, especially when you're in leadership, my mother's experience with that. Um, I did a writing that book five stars and not just because that's my mother, but the book from the very beginning was very captivating. I literally cackled at the very first sentence. And it, it was just such a beautiful book written by my mother, led by the Holy Spirit. So if you all are 
men and women of faith i would encourage you to get it it is on amazon as well you can purchase it for $14.99 or if you have kindle unlimited you can also get it download it on your kindle y'all it took me no time to read it maybe not even an hour again it was only 45 pages um and i will put the description in my I will put the link in my description box if you all want to support my mommy on her first book that God has been telling her to do for years, okay? And that is just a reminder to you all, if God gave you a dream, if God told you to do something um, years ago, whatever, and you just kind of been putting it on the back burner, putting it on the back burner, God is not going to let you forget that. He's going to make sure that it's completed uh, when he wants it done. So that is all friends i believe this vlog should now be hitting like the 50 minute mark y'all when i edited my video today i think i was at um 34 minutes and i was like well i do still have to go to the bookstore hold on y'all i was like i still have to go to the bookstore i still need to talk about i still have to talk about the silent patient i still had to um talk to y'all about my mommy's book so hopefully we met the minimum threshold for what I was trying to give y'all today for this video. And also, I really hope you all could see like the difference in like some of the editing that I did, some of the skills I did, some of like, I just try, I'm just trying new things. I'm actually having fun editing this vlog because <laughs> I'm just having fun. I'm just like, oh my God, I should have left iMovie a long time ago. So yeah and yeah i think that's about it y'all let's go ahead and head home if i have anything left to say i'll pick this camera back up but i'm gonna focus on this road and i am going to finish watching this youtube video talk to y'all later it could very much just be me i am terribly afraid of wasps and bees and mosquitoes and bugs and insects and anything that crawls and anything that flies i am definitely afraid and right now there are so many bees and wasps that are surrounding me i told my husband that my car is getting attacked and i cannot get out until either i move my car parking is really tight right now or i don't know all i know is i'm going to be sitting in this car for a minute so hopefully he don't come looking for me. <laughs>